What's up, guys? Drew here, and life has presented me with another opportunity to practice self-love in September, so I thought I'd share. Now, any of you who regularly follow my channel for any length of time, not even very long, will know that recently Hurricane Florence paid me a visit. And unfortunately, she wrecked my house. Um, you know, a good bit of the kitchen ceiling is out, some extending into the dining room, uh, half of the garage ceiling is out, the wind-driven rain, we didn't actually flood right here, but the wind-driven rain came into my sliding glass door, all of my windows in this side of the house. And of course, it was just kind of raining in the garage and steadily dripping in the kitchen. Um, the exposed beams, uh, not beams, the exposed uh, joists and headers and what have you that we can see for the roof are starting to mold. There is water damage in the sheetrock for my living room and my bedroom and my master bathroom. And right now I don't have a kitchen. Um, any of you who followed me for a while and may have seen my H video for the 2018 Pagan Challenge will know that it was called Home Sacred Home, and that that is really important to me. Um, I grew up in a very tumultuous home. My children were also exposed to that environment. When we bought this home six years ago, it was extremely important to my husband and myself that we did not have that kind of environment in our family home. Um, we named the home before we even laid eyes on it and sort of called it to us. And it, it's called Sacred Hollow. And it's spelled hallow, you know, sacred, sacred, basically. Um, but my, my home needed to be a sanctuary for myself and my loved ones. There has never been a fight between occupants of this home within the home ever. Um, I told my kids when we moved in, if you're gonna fight, take that shit outside. And then I'm going to smudge the shit out of you before you come back inside. Um, whether that be with a smudge, stick, a smudge stick of some kind or incense or a cleansing spray, I don't know and I don't care, but I'm not having the BS in my house. Of course, people get on each other's nerves once in a while, but there's no actual fighting. And of course, my husband and I are avid collectors of crystals and um, pieces that have a spiritual significance to us, both being practicing witches, there's stuff all over the house. Not so much right now. Uh, a great bit of that is stuffed in my studio slash witchy room, which is why I'm not making videos in there at the moment because it's full of other things. The whole thing has been a, a personally devastating experience for myself and my family. Of course, we were out of power and um, even cell connection for a couple days. And then when we got everything back, you know, we heard that there were people like just over an hour away from us who lost their homes entirely um, and even lives were lost. And even one of my dearest soul sisters lives about 45 minutes away, 30, 45 minutes away. She only has one room left in her house untouched, her master bedroom. The ceiling has come down in the rest of her house. Her roof is messed up. So that kind of thing can help put things in perspective. But when the house, my husband has done a lot to make the house as normal as humanly possible under the circumstances. But at first it was so, it was so bad that I couldn't even be in the living room. I mean, the house smelled of mildew and it like gave me headaches and just, it was trashed. The house was completely trashed, still is trashed, but not completely trashed anymore. And I was just sitting in my bedroom crying and I was just so devastated, but this thought kept creeping in. It could have been so much worse. Look at these people who lost their homes and their lives. And you know, all these people had flooding up to, you know, two story levels of homes. And 
And that made me feel even worse. I started to feel guilty. And I just decided, you know what? No, I'm not gonna qualify my feelings. Yes, absolutely, it could have been worse. I'm grateful that it wasn't. But I'm allowed to be devastated. I'm allowed to feel pain, to feel sorrow, to any emotion that comes up. My emotions are not wrong. How I act from those emotions may be right or wrong, but the emotions themselves are not wrong. I'm allowed to have those. And so I stopped qualifying it. I shoved all of that other noise out and just let myself feel what I'm feeling. It was really cathartic. I mean, I'm very in touch with my emotions. I always allow myself to feel what I feel. But removing that element of guilt, removing that element of that inner nagging voice, be it ego, whatever, I don't know, telling me it could have been worse. Look at what happened to these people. You should be grateful. Like just kicking that out, blocking that out, and just allowing myself to know and understand that, but to feel what it is I felt. It was hugely beneficial to me. And it's something I'm gonna carry forward and do from now on. I'm not going to martyr myself or, you know, wallow and act like woe is me when I know there are people who are suffering worse, but I will allow myself to feel what I feel without guilt. I think that that is very self-loving. Even having the inspectors, the people from the insurance and FEMA come into my home and inspect it, they were lovely, but it was, it was so violating in a way, just having to have it done. The whole thing has been a violation. And there are layers of pain and hurt and devastation. So yeah, I'm going through a lot, but you know, I have my family, we're strong, we have our health, we're, we're good and so much support. I'm not gonna get into all that in this video. Um, I just really genuinely wanted to share this. It should be obvious. It should be obvious to us that we can feel what we feel and that's okay. And that we don't have to compare it to anyone else's situation. But I don't know that it is. It wasn't for me. Like, I, again, I was always very in touch with my emotions and allowed myself to feel my emotions. But I didn't realize until a few days ago through this experience that I sometimes qualify those emotions and that I compare them to other people and that I sort of almost belittle myself if I feel like someone else has it worse or has the right to feel worse or what have you and that I don't feel like that's self-loving at all. I feel like it's wrong and I'm not going to do that to myself anymore. And so I hope that by sharing this, if any of you ever do that, that you stop as well. We are all entitled to our feelings. Again, how we react or act upon those feelings may be right or wrong, but the feelings themselves are not. And we shouldn't beat ourselves up for having feelings. <laughs> Somehow this experience, and not just the hurricane, this um, experience, this awakening to this idea that I qualified my emotions is very powerful. Um, I, it feels life-changing. So I wanted to share another self-love gift. I feel that the hurricane has given me is purging. Um, I just feel like if I just, there's just too much noise and environmental pollution around me. Um, I've just decided I have three questions. I look at everything. Does it serve a purpose? Does it have a function in my life? If the answer is no, then we move to the second question. Does it hold some kind of sentimental value for me? Again, if the answer to this question is no, then we move on to the third question, which is, does it spark joy? Does it bring me joy? And if the answer is no to that question, it's out the door. I have between 12 and 15 bags, like large um, paper grocery bags, 
ready to go to the charity shop and two large garbage bags, either recycling or trash that have, are out ready to go. It, I'm just over it. Like life is too short and everything in my life should f bring fulfillment in one way or another, whether that's through function, um, sen sentimentality, or, you know, just joy, just happiness, um, some sort of fulfillment to me in my life. And if not, I don't have time for you. You need to go. And I feel that that is very self-loving. Um, as I'm going through this process and I'm seeing all the things that I have that I've kept for one reason or another, sometimes because they're gifts, sometimes, I mean, just whatever. So many reasons that I keep things that do not serve one of those three functions for me. And, um, I feel like if you've ever seen the labyrinth, the little trash lady who just has everything on her back, like why it's junk. I don't need it. It needs to go. So bye bye I'm done. So who knew it? A, a hurricane could spark self love, but it, it certainly has. I'm sharing my journey here on this channel. So I wanted to share this part as well. Of course, I want to again, thank, Kellyanne Maddox for creating this beautiful platform for everyone. As always, guys, thank you for listening. And until next time, much love and gratitude.